Today is fight the jungle day for me. I have a lot of poison ivy in my yard and the last time I battled poison ivy, she won. I had rashes on my body for two weeks. I had to get a prednisone shot. It was not pretty. But I'm ready this time. I got my Kick Ivy's Ass Potion. It's got a gun. So do I. And, uh, and then there's ants. So I gotta be ready for the ant mounds. <clears throat> I got my camo pants on, cause you know you gotta get yourself all psyched up for this kind of thing. I got my boots. I got my gloves. And I got my trimmer thingies. <laughs> if anybody has any ideas on how to take care of a lot of poison ivy, um, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. And I'm always looking for a little help. So, uh, wish me luck. Let's do this. So look at that sneaky, sneaky little plant. Those are leaves of three. You can see there's some red. And it's small. Look, oh yeah, there's some more right there. Look, that is poison ivy. Leaves of three. Let it be, baby. Look at how big those leaves are. Oh. And it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I'm all covered up. Long sleeves, I got gloves to put on, I got my boots, I'm ready to go. But the truth is, is that it further inspection. <laughs> it's everywhere. The, pan, the plant is just, um, I'm gonna need some napalm of uh, Roundup or some sort of a home remedy because I, it's, it's nuts. Here, I'm gonna see if I could show you what I'm talking about. But really, uh, even everywhere I step, I gotta watch where I step because it's everywhere. Here's a perfect example of poison ivy uh, in my palmettos, uh, right in the yard. And she's just sort of mixed in with the palmettos, growing big and happy. See, you see the cluster of three leaves? You see, it's a better shot. There's a cluster of three. Clusters, it's just um, clusters of three leaves. Three, three, three. And there's some red on it, but there's not always red. That's not the way you see it. All you gotta do is look for clusters of three leaves. It's supposed to be spraying for poison ivy, but I'm just gonna stop and enjoy the rest of the cool shit that happens out here. Waging a war against Mother Nature is kind of like a, a fool's game. <laughs> I just used about half a gallon of the Roundup for the poison ivy that's on the property. And I gotta tell you, the more I looked, the more I sprayed, the more I saw. And uh, I have no idea where the vines start. So that makes it impossible. And somebody said you should um, pull, uh, pull the vine and get the roots. Not possible. And I am not a big person on what's possible, on saying that things are impossible. But in this situation, I'm going to say that finding the root to a poisonous plant that has an oil on it, that all you got to do is touch it, and then um, you're in trouble. And when that oil gets on anything that you touch, you're in trouble some more. And that oil stays on stuff. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see it, but um, I sprayed and now I'm just going to see what happens. Tomorrow I'll go out and inspect and see if uh, any 
of those plants that I sprayed were affected and killed. I get a bad feeling about this, people, though. I got a really bad feeling that, that, yeah, that poison ivy is just gonna shrug it off and say, bring it on. Damn. Oh.